And what you gonna do when Hulkamania and the largest arms in the world run wild on you? How much is this? I have no earthly idea. There's a, there's a guy that keeps appearing on my stream. His name is uh, Chill Murray. All right? Chill Murray spends his whole fucking day talking about Phil. Yo, what up? It's your boy. Man, dude. <laughs> I'm going to warn you now. This is going to be a frustrating video to sit through. Because this is a frustrating video to edit. <laughs> Dog. Phil done lost his goddamn mind. <laughs> He does a public service announcement for all his stupid dentheads or potential retards that want to give him a couple bucks, dude. You know, he warns them that they're at risk of getting docs. Hey, and I ain't gonna, I'm gonna sit here and tell them he ain't lying. If you're retarded enough to give this guy five dollars, don't be surprised if we uncover everything about you. Okay, you're just as culpable as Phil. You're enabling a fucking begging bitch gambling addict, okay? So I don't really care. <laughs> so yeah, in today's video, dude, Phil's finna sit here and lecture his dead heads about the dangers of our community, right? And then Phil's also gonna, he's gonna pull, he's gonna pull that stupid bullshit again. Where he's gonna blame us for co falsely copyright striking each other. So I think he got a little blowback from Snort Burnell. You know, the finality of Snort Burnell's channel getting yeeted. So yeah, fuck Phil. He's a little stupid bitch. And let's get into this stupid unhinged rant of his. Like, I'm trying to tell you, this is fucking insane and frustrating. <laughs> so let's just jump into it, dudes. Hi, what's going on? Hello! Didn't see you come in there. Welcome to the Level 1 Podcast, where we're busy having fun. And, uh, it's Monday. You wear this? Do you know what happens on Monday? I stream! That's pretty cool. You guys ready for a fun day of streaming? I hope... Go get fucked, Phil. Literally, go get fucked with your with your stupid little jokes. Oh my god, I told you, he's being extra annoying right now, dude. Hey, Phil, you know what most people are doing on Monday? They're going to work. <laughs> like your stupid ass should be doing. Get a job, Phil. Fucking asshole. Here's what we will do, alright? I will tell you exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to start off with a public service announcement. Okay? This is something that I feel like I need to do every once in a while. Because I do feel like, sadly, some people become maybe a little bit too feeling, a little bit too safe and complacent. And at the same time, uh, things change from time to time. And sadly, I am one of the most uh, crapped on, hated on content creators on the internet. And so I feel like I need to bring this up every once in a while. What am I talking about? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you are someone who likes my content, maybe you, you really enjoy the, the gameplay here on DSP Gaming, you like the streams and the interactive vibe that we have. Maybe you really like the Level 1 podcast and you come by every day and you hang out here and you chill with me. Maybe Jasper Kitty stretches and touches me because he's very cute. You want to come up here? Here he comes. <laughs> Maybe you're someone who's really been enjoying my new React style content over on DSP React since I launched, launched the channel back in uh, around mid-February, right? So that's all well and good, and I, I, I welcome you all. I thank you all for being a part of my content, and uh, I'm happy that I'm doing something that's worthwhile to you, and you're getting some kind of positive reinforcement out of it in some way, okay? I'm very happy about this. Um, 
And of course, those of you who support the content as well and go above and beyond, thank you so very much. All right? But I do feel like I need to, every once in a while, kind of give a, a word of warning, a public service announcement, so to speak. All right? I am very, very, very strongly trolled on the internet. And it's because of a movement over a decade ago called This Is How You Don't Play, where people found out that if they made fun of my gameplay, that it would go viral. And since then, since people were essentially benefiting from those videos, it just escalated worse and worse. And first it was just making fun of gameplay, then it was making fun of me and my mannerisms, then it was making fun of me and my actual like shortcomings and medical conditions. Like, he snorts, yeah, because I have post-nasal drip. It's a medical condition I've had my whole life and I'll have till I die. Oh, let's make fun of him for it, right? And even worse, let's make fun of him for his personal life and things in his vlogs. Let's make fun of him. Let's, let, let's talk about his family members. Let's go into his private life behind the scenes that has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with his content. And it's just escalated worse and worse and worse over the years. All right. And at first, admittedly, I feel like I was one of the reasons why I got so bad because I reacted badly to things like this is how you don't play. But over the years, it just got to the point where so many people realized they could personally benefit by just tearing me down and being completely toxic and nasty to me while there were literally no repercussions. There was no way that I could stop them from being unfair and completely nasty to me. And there was an increasing group of very toxic imager viewers on YouTube who liked this kind of very over-the-top dramatic, you know, accentuated, exaggerated, conspiracy style content okay be allowed it really should be categorized as defamation or slander or whatever you want to call it but youtube doesn't care unless someone sues and i'm someone who's a small time content creator i'm not going to sue anyone for it all right so what ended up happening was you know for the most part i just ignore it i've tried to improve myself over the years and become a better person and a better content creator the feedback i get over all these days is that i've done that I've separated myself from the old days of when I used to be a constant toxic kind of person. I don't really do that kind of stuff anymore. Not to say there aren't moments of shortcoming or moments of rage. Ah, oh, shut the fuck up, Phil. Shut the hell up, my guy. Holy shit, he sits here and acts like we all just sit here and go viral with everything we do. <laughs> it's like, no, dude. It's just we, we get a little bit more views than you on a good day, Phil. I don't know. It's not all this is how you don't play. Like, Phil, it's everything. It's you. You fucking locale. It's you, bro. You mush mouth idiot. God damn. He really has to say a PSA. It's like a PSA for all the fucking deadheads. Like, for real. Holy fucking shit, dude. He's so insufferable. <laughs> I like how he doesn't bring up how we hate how he e-bags like a little bitch. You don't give Phil enough money. You don't give this little fucking cocksucker enough of what he wants. He starts crying and complaining like a little bitch, dude. But yeah, fuck you, Phil. But for the most part, when you come to one of my streams, we can have a good time, right? We can relax. We can enjoy each other's company. And the content that I put out, I try to completely ignore all the nonsense that's going on around there, all right? But the thing is, these people don't give up. Again, this is a decade that they have found a way to prosper off of essentially being really disgusting to me, okay? So when I ignore them, now they have to go out of their way to find other ways to try to drag me into their toxic crap. They make up entirely huge conspiracy theory stories about me and things like that, which I don't talk about or entertain on my streams because they're not true and I don't bother with them, okay? So then they go out of their way to try other stuff. And what ends up happening is these people go crazy in circles and they, they even start attacking each other. I mean, recently, what's actually started happening is I guess they've started copyright striking each other, impersonating me, using my information that they doxed years ago. Things like my name, my address, my phone number, things that should not be public record on the internet, but they found and they posted all over the internet. So they're using that information to issue false copyright strikes against each other and tear each other down. Yet then they blame me for it, all right? So a few weeks ago on my actual birthday, when I should have been relaxing and having a good time with my wife, I spent time talking to YouTube chat, trying to let them understand that this isn't me. They ignored me and wouldn't even believe that it was an issue and saying that it wasn't true. I then went ahead and proved my innocence by showing you guys my copyright claim history, showing that I didn't do any of these false claims. They're bullshit, I know they're not. I've never supported 
these kind of claims ever in the history of me being a content creator. I don't want people being claimed falsely on YouTube for things that are fair use. I proved my innocence. These people, again, who are so toxic to me, if I am in the right, that doesn't help their narrative or their agenda. Their agenda is that I'm always a bad person, so they have something to talk about, you see? So why am I bringing this up today? Because essentially what's happened is they've tried everything they could. They, they you know, harassed me for years and years. Now they're attacking each other for some unknown reason. Who knows why? I don't know because I'm not involved. And now they want to try to drag me into that, and that's not working. Okay, I told them, I'm not part of your crap anymore. I, I laid down the law three weeks ago. I said, I tried to help you, and all you've done is be more and more toxic to me. I showed you the evidence it's not me, and you don't believe it, so I'm not going to bother anymore. Deal with this on your own account. Go sue whoever you need to sue at YouTube or whatever to say their copyright system is broken, but it's not me. Leave me alone. So after doing all of that, what's now happened is that they, they escalated it again. Oh, well, what else can we do? Well, now let's try to hurt Phil this way, that way, this way, that way. And the thing is, I don't sit here on my streams and talk about it. Why? Because when you entertain troll activity, you just give them the attention they want, okay? It's very true. If I bring up all the things that people have done to me over the years to mess with me and my family, all it would do is make them feel empowered and they'd want to do more of it, you see? So instead of that, I just ignore it and I haven't mentioned any of it. All right, but the reason I'm bringing it up today is because now what they do is they escalate it to the next level. Oh, well, we've tried everything we can against Phil and nothing has happened, right? If you haven't noticed, I'm still here every day. I'm bringing you positive streams. We're having fun gameplay. People are supporting everything. It's all good. Who's supposed to be? I'm vengeance. I swear to God, that's exactly what I want to do to Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Bro, I'm literally sitting here checking my pulse because my goddamn blood pressure is going up. Ah, Phil, you son of a bitch. Why would we strike each other? Literally, dude. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Phil, it doesn't. We're not greedy little pieces of shit like you, Phil. Okay? I'm trying to tell you, Phil, you got this fucked up. Somebody you know, okay? It's probably your little fucking ball handler super hound. You know, the guy that comes over and fucking sucks your dick and sleeps with you. Because we all know Cat isn't fucking sleeping with you, you stupid little fucking bitch. Go get fucked, Phil. Like, seriously, dude. Alright? And it's not that hard to, like, find out who your stupid little fucking fans are. Alright, Phil. Literally, you're gonna try to pass the buck on your fans. Oh, yeah, they're tar now they're trying to target my fans, nerd. Fuck you and your stupid little fucking whales, Phil. Like, literally, the dude doesn't even know or understand that even if we don't talk to each other... It's like, we nod at each other and shit like that, you know? It's like, we know each other and shit, dude. It's a chill little community we have, Phil. Like, all the detractors in this community, we're part of the same community. We're not like competitors and shit like that, you stupid little freak. Can't stand it. So what do they do? They now go after the viewers. And that's what I need to talk to you about today. This is a public service announcement to tell my viewership, and this is, I'm talking to literally everyone who watches my content out there in any kind of a positive way. You gotta be careful. On the internet, you absolutely have to be careful with the information you put out and the things that are out there, all right? This means if you are someone on the internet who's gonna actively watch a content creator, you should not be using your real name. You should be making an account that's an, alter, an alternate or an alias or something that's completely fabricated. You should not have an account that's linked to real life social media accounts on places like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. None of that should be in line because if it is, let's say someone doesn't like you for some odd reason. Like for example, you're watching a content creator and supporting a content creator that they don't like. Well, now they can actively go after you and try to harass you. And the more real life information is tied to your online presence, the more ammo they now have to try to harass you. And I know this sounds really stupid because you might say, wait a minute, 
they're gonna try to go after Phil by attacking viewers. How does that hurt Phil? And here's the truth. No, no, bro, no. You know what, that's rich coming from fucking Phil, whose most preferred way that you pay him is through PayPal. And when you pay that stupid little dickhead through PayPal, bro, he gets all your information. The fucker gets your name and all that stupid good shit, bro. And literally, if, you, if you're if you a pay pig of Phil's, he's done this shit, dude. If you're a pay pig of his and you cross his ass, he will dox you. He's doxed someone before, okay? He's a little piece of shit. He's being disingenuous. He's, oh, he's lying through his teeth, bro. Like, literally. He is more liable to dox someone than I am. A hundred percent, bro. He is full of shit. Every single person that tips Phil through PayPal is liable to be doxxed, okay? Don't forget that shit. And it's kind of rich, Phil saying like, Do you think the detractors coming after my viewers affects me? No, it doesn't, because Phil doesn't give a shit about any of his goddamn viewers, okay? He doesn't give a shit about his whales, the pay pigs, literally the motherfuckers that make sure he stays in those tight t-shirts and that stupid ugly wife of his is able to eat all the sushi she fucking wants, okay? Literally. It, it, this is stupid as shit. <laughs> like, oh my god, Phil's like legitly like being the ultimate asshole. Like, he's actually feeling himself since he deleted, like, Snorper Nell, dude. Doesn't. It never has, and it never will. My viewership is my viewership. You come by, you watch, great. You decide not to watch anymore, great, that's your choice, right? People come and go all the time. People come and support the stream. Then they decide, well, I can't do it right now, or I've moved on from the content. I'm not excited for it anymore. And then, you know, this is a natural thing. I've been on YouTube for 15 years. I'm incredibly grateful for any viewers who've been with me along for the ride and anyone who's a newcomer who jumps in at any time. But at the same time, I understand that the nature of the beast is that it's a revolving door and people come in and out all the time. There's people who are regulars and then they disappear. It's sad, but that's what happens, right? So the reason I'm bringing this up is I know for a fact there is some active efforts to try to harass my viewership. People out there who sadly have used their real names, their real information, and or people have found out the real information and they're trying to harass them online. I apologize for that. Obviously, I have absolutely nothing to do with it and I wish that it wouldn't happen. It's the, mo the most toxic negative of people on this planet who do stuff like that. You have to understand something. They're not like you and me. These are not people who are normal. People who are normal don't waste their time trying to make other people miserable all day. They don't. Why do you think these people who have been making this toxic content about me for all these years are not well-adjusted, normal, happy people like us? We want to do positive things with our lives. We enjoy spending time with family and friends. We enjoy doing positive activities and kind. We don't want to bring down others in order to get a laugh. And we don't want to degrade other people around us to make ourselves feel better because we don't have to do that. We have positivity in our lives. People who focus on that kind of negative activity are absolutely not well adjusted up here. And that's why they act like that. And that's why we all gotta be careful because these kind of people, you never know what they're gonna do and you don't know how they're gonna act or they don't have a moral compass. That's why they harass people who are completely unrelated to anything. You understand? Oh, oh my God. I swear to God. <laughs> I wish I could fight Phil in a karate tournament tonight, bro. Holy shit, this guy has lost his mind. The, he really said that. I work six days a week, there's no way that I have time to do this, to do that. Literally, he has all, he, he fucking uses the excuse that he's the hardest worker on the planet Earth. He has to stream six days a goddamn week. That's why he can, he doesn't have time to have a honeymoon with his wife, to do uh, uh, this, that, and the other with his wife, to do shit for himself. He's full of fucking shit. Literally, all of us in our community have vastly more rich lives than Phil. Like, think about it. 
Imagine waking up hungover as shit, bro. Splashing some water on your face. Being in incapable of cooking to a degree that all you could cook for yourself is a stupid fucking toasted bagel with cream cheese on it. And that's your breakfast, right? And you go and you fucking go into your little laptop in your smelly little bedroom. And you go and you, have, you beg for money. And you take all that money and you gamble it all fucking way. On fucking JPEGs and zeros and ones in a fucking cell phone. Come on, Phil. I don't have to beg for anything, bro. I'm chilling, dude. I'll actually be able to retire, I feel like, if I play my cards right. <laughs> like, holy shit, Phil. You probably have the shittiest little life that isn't Chris Chan's. I think Wings even arguably has, like, a better life than you, bro. You need to get the fuck out of here, you stupid, delusional little piece of shit. Phil out here protecting child predators and shit. Get the fuck out of here, Phil. You have the most garbage dreams in life ever imagined, my guy. That's why we watch you. You're a reality TV show of comedic errors, dude. Your whole life is a fucking failure and it's hilarious. It doesn't seem to make any sense that they would do these things. How does this negatively affect Phil? It doesn't. It doesn't affect me at all. I only find out about it because people tell me about it through third party means. Like, I'm not affected by it at all. And then someone will tell me, oh, this is going on, this is going on, just so you know. I just got wind of it. I just got wind of it overnight that there is now a concerted effort from these people who are so upset because they've torn themselves down with false copyright strikes, okay? Which is ridiculous that they would even do that. They're abusing the own, their own copyright system. You know, it's, it's the dumbest thing. And now they're so upset at me, even though I have nothing to do with it, that now they're going to, like, lash out at others and try to take down anything they can. It's pretty messed up, the way that they're behaving, okay? So, yeah, if you're a viewer of mine, please do your due diligence and do what you can to be protective of yourself and your online identity. And if that means, listen, be, be careful about strangers who you invite into private conversations and what you say and things like that because you don't know what little information they can take that they can basically do or use to do something negative towards you or your family or whoever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think people take so much for granted. I've told you guys years ago, delete your Facebook. There's no reason to have a Facebook. Facebook is nothing but liability and risk. You can easily keep in contact with all of your family members without a public Facebook account. Ah, the little stupid bitch. He's such a bitch. He really is. He has the fucking audacity, dude, to say that we're, oh yeah, they, they can't take me down, snurt. So they're tearing themselves down, and now they're coming for my viewers. No, go, 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 Phil. Oh, go get a go stroke off already, bro. I swear to God, you're just a fucking burden on society, you asshole. Facebook private it. Make it only for your family members. That's it. There is absolutely no reason someone should have a Facebook and they're constantly posting up photos of everywhere I go. Here's where I work. Here's all of this. You're out of your mind. <clears throat> really. You have this weird false sense of security about the internet that doesn't really exist in the modern day. The internet today is used for identity theft, trolling, and malicious activity literally on a daily basis by millions of people. There is absolutely no reason that you should feel safe on the internet and that you should just be throwing all of your public information out there. Even if you think, oh, I'm a nobody and no one's going to mess with me, it's kind of the opposite. If you're a nobody, someone can get away with messing with you and no one will ever be the wiser. It becomes complete immunity to any kind of repercussion if someone harasses you because no one even thinks twice about their, that anyone would care if you get harassed. Do you understand? These people get their jollies. They actually get pleasure out of hurting others and knowing they got away with it. Whether or not they even see the repercussions of what they've done, they don't care. As long as they think, oh, I hurt someone, they actually feel good. Okay? So please understand that I'm trying to be helpful. I'm not trying, first of all, I'm not trying to scare anyone. All right, I'm not. I don't want you to feel like, oh my God, the internet is a scary place and no one should ever use it. It's quite the opposite. The internet can be a very positive, fun, productive, and, and meaningful place. You're careful. And that's what I think a lot of people have forgotten in the modern day. In the last five years, a lot of people, oh, I'll just post up everything everywhere and I'm good. No, you can't do that. 
because now you end up with all this risk, okay? So I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that everyone out there be, be safe and be careful, all right? Especially with, if you're a viewer on this channel, you know, sadly, there are forces at work behind the scenes, very negative people who, even though they, they aren't really doing much to me, they will do whatever they can to hurt whoever they can because they're upset. They're upset that for many, many years, all right, they've been on the internet and had this negative toxic influence and they got popularity and they made money doing all these things. And now all of a sudden, because they're attacking each other, breaking the law to hurt each other, they now are upset that they don't have free reign to do it anymore and they don't know what to do, right? They don't have the means to really stop it. We've all tried contacting YouTube to get them to stop it and YouTube doesn't care. YouTube's attitude is, you got a problem, sue someone. That's literally their attitude. And it's like, the dumbest attitude I've ever heard because the only company that's going to successfully be sued is YouTube. YouTube's copyright system is completely inept. It allows impersonation. It, imp it allows for false copyright strikes constantly. And their attitude is, you clean up our mess. Our system is inefficient. You clean it up. How does that make any sense in, in a legal capacity? They're granting false copyright claims constantly, yet they do nothing to vet them and then they expect you to clean them up. That's not true. That's not how it would work. If it goes to court, they're going to get destroyed. But they're of this weird attitude that, oh well, no one will ever sue us, so it's not a big deal. Well, I guess we're gonna see if anything ever happens, but like I said, for me, again, I've tried, they don't listen. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't stop th this hateful conduct, you know, that's going on against these people. Um, and I don't wish it on them. But what is wrong is that then they lash out against others around them who are not involved. You know, I'm not involved. My viewership is not involved. It has to stop. You know, go talk to the parties who you feel could actually help you because what you're doing is destructive, right? So if you're a viewer of mine, please be careful. Really, I mean it. Now is the time to be very, very diligent and careful with what you're doing on the internet, okay? Oh, shut the fuck up, Phil. I'm fucking over him today. <laughs> Ain't nobody doing anything to your stupid little autistic fans, Phil. All right. Literally, we just kind of point and laugh at them just like we do to you. Bro, you literally have a whole ass child predator in your, your chat and you're just okay with it. And your own viewers don't want him there. Derek. All right. Fuck that, dude. Just because you give Phil money doesn't mean you shouldn't have some kind of online presence. Like, you know how stupid that sounds? But at the same time, it's like, you are a stupid person if you give Phil money. Like, I don't know what to tell you, dude. You're choosing. <laughs> You're willingly choosing to enable an actual bad person, bro. So, you get what you get in this fucking life. I don't really fucking care. Shit. Screw you, Phil. Screw your stupid fans. You're still, you're a bitch, Phil. You're the one falsely copyright striking people, my guy. Dude, and people been making fun of your stupid fans for years. So I don't know why you're trying to hide behind your fans now. That's very sus. Alright, I need to get out of here. I have to get high, bro. <laughs> oh, Phil actually massaged my nerves, dude. I'm mad. I have to go and chill, <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe tonight I might stream. If not, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Sorry I had to drop a quantum TV video before I had to wrestle with Phil, but I had to deal with with kind of one of the lesser, one of the lesser annoying person, I guess. So, <laughs> all right, guys, have a good one, man. Remember, Phil's a begging bitch. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, dudes. Peace. Everything was right. Everything was right. I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. Everything was right. Everything was right. I did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong.
pledge to be ten years of my hard work trying to raise funds within the next several months to pay my taxes. These fucking trolls financially fuck me over every single fucking year. Everything was right, everything correct.